In a painting, an artist is not hindered by functional requirements. A guitar, for example, does not really have to be playable in a painting. In the design of a real guitar, functionality is crucial. An exciting difference between art and design. As an artist and designer, I always tend to play with composition and balance. In my paintings, in my lamps, my vases, in my musical instruments. However, while building my guitars, something started to bother me. From my perspective as an artist, the archetypal proportions of the guitar clash. I experience the irrevocable long neck and big body as an unbalanced composition. A guitar requires a long neck in order to have its full spectrum of notes. Form follows function. More than 100 years ago, around 1910, Cubist painters explored the guitar's shape to the fullest. In search of a balanced composition, they adapted the proportions of the guitar, without any consequences for the playability. These all struck me as guitars I would love to play. In the imaginary guitar, I explored the limits of the function, shape and appearance of the acoustic guitar in search of a, to me, more beautiful and new image. I created new forms and shapes and had to adapt building techniques to it. It reminded me of the process of the Cubist painters. I built two playable, beautiful sounding guitars from an opposite starting point to the usual. The solely aesthetic.